Carol's messing with his controller. We're already being a good sport. And then he's gonna restart. And they're ready. This is top 16, round one. The very beginning. Cameras are out of focus. But we're still we're still playing. Little spacing match. Kiro drops the up tilts. Mark makes it in. Makes his escape. So it's hit though. Still on the run. Ooh, good back air from uh, Kiro. Ooh, sees the, uh, the not optimal recovery. Forward throws to kill. Ooh. Brody dies again. Dodge the up tilt, good up B. Tries to protect his uh, escape with that up there, but uh, the up there misses. Good forward throw. No edge guard. And a good up attack from Kiro. Oh, misses the uh, misses the stall on ledge. So, I'm here. I'm Phil. I've made it, finally. Welcome, um, Phil. I'm excited to watch this. So, Josh Brody, with his new identity, now plays a new color Pikachu, correct? Yeah, apparently, yes. And uh, Kiro taking over the... Uh, the ugly one. The, the ugly <laughs> one. The green, yes. Radioactive Pika. That's just, that's just dirty, though. Absolutely. Brody stealing Kiro's color. Ooh, double up smash. Nair. Another one. Can he get the back air? Misses. Good weight, good weight on that. The down air. Tries the up smash again. Yeah, tries to call him out there. Little greedy on that one. Kiro just controlling stage. Good uh, good dare to get him off. And the oh, back air read to finish game one. Good read there on the jump. Kiro talking with Isaiah. Isaiah's been coaching. doing a lot of coaching, I think. And he even yeah. coached Nintendo in doubles when Nintendo was teaming with the CPU. Mm. Because Isaiah was. Isaiah w was supposed to team with Nintendo, but uh, his hands hurt, so he can't play any games. Mm. Um, so, yeah, he was even coaching Nintendo in doubles with the level 9 Luigi. Gotcha, yeah, you can still drop that knowledge. He's yeah. you know, still a lot of value as a, as a coach as well. Instant. All right, and uh, just a, as a reminder, guys, it's going to be uh, best of five for all of top 16. So, this is not going to be the end if uh, Kira takes game two here. But that game, I only caught half of it, but it looked pretty dominant from Kiro's side. Yeah, for a lot of it, Kiro did have a lot of the um, kind of a lot of the position and a lot of the uh, the advantage for most of it. Before air on covers his approach. Kiro just trying to play, keep away with the up airs, but uh, Brody gets in. Finds an opening, and now he's in the edge guard situation. But yeah, Kiro doesn't fight for anything there. Both off stage. Let's see what they can. This next neutral interaction is about. Ooh, Kiro trying to invade with that uh, that backer, but just falls short. Oh, oh and Brody steals the ledge. Yeah. Goodbye, Kiro. That was really smart because the Brody special is up tilt at the ledge to bait them to go high, and then he started doing the up tilt and then jumped so he could cover Ooh. the high option. And Kiro was like, "Oh, he's gonna just cover high, exactly. so go straight to the ledge." Kiro with an excellent back air to even it back up. Yeah, Brody adding another layer to his uh, staple edge guard. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a self awareness there that's uh, applied into a mix up. Yeah. Ooh, good, uh, good down air onto side platform, from Kiro there from ledge. Kira had the right idea, but wrong spacing. Ooh, gets grabbed. No follow-up from Brody. Gets up tilted. Ooh, good, uh, good flat drop uh, up air right there. That was yeah. very crisp. In the back air. Ball short. Oh, gets his way in with the up air. He's really just trying to keep Brody away with these, yeah. uh, these up airs and back airs, and it seems to be going pretty well. But he needs to he sometimes opts to be too aggressive, and, uh, and Brody's waiting, waiting in the wings for him. Well, in some ways, he's not biting off more than he can chew. You see, Kiro get like one or two hits, exactly. and then just resets back to center stage. He's not chasing him off there, just trying to pressure with anything that's not a true combo. He's really trying to keep it simple, and, and it's working. Yeah. yeah. 
going miles for him, really, because it's not giving Brody any chance to counter hit. And Brody just zone. keeping it simple there with the ledge hop on the side platform into back throw. He <laughs> says, this is going to kill, and I don't need to do anything fancy. Nope. And uh, taking stage position again. Good job keeping him out. There's there to cover it. Oh, uh, and he gets back That was like max range jab grab, I it feel. Very, very close. I believe, I don't know if it was the last time they played, but these two played at Boss Battle 3, you know? And that was like one of Kiro's like bigger return tournaments. Hmm, and sure, yeah. Brody actually took the set, I believe. Ooh. And holds the ledge right there, proving that maybe he can do it again. Edge cancel, always kind of a, a weird interaction there. Shields, but yeah, pokes through. Hero opted to stay literally right at the edge. It doesn't give him much space to work with uh, uh, stuff Brody's recovery. So It's definitely a dangerous game playing yeah. that close to the edge there. And he's but in a good position now, but he didn't get much off of that positioning that he chose. Bolt's just trying to fight for center stage here. Kira with a better down air. Playing keep away from center stage is always a good idea, especially at higher percents. You get back here from middle stage, not so bad. That probably would have killed offside. Good option. Oh, good combo into the back throw. Ooh. Another edge guard situation. Tries to stuff him there. Can't fight on the edge of this of a platform like that. Yeah, just shields, ledge cancel shields. Wait for Brody to pick a move and then instant up air off the push off. Brody with a good up air to take him off. Can That's edge guard it? No. Bad for Kuro, but he makes yeah. the most of it and brings it back. It's going to be evening up the socks. He's not at back throw percent, so not too much. Just damage. about even here. If Kuro can get the next neutral interaction, he can even it up exactly and perhaps take the stock even. So, oh, Kuro with a misstep. Yeah. Brody gets uh, Brody back throws him. See if Kiro's recovery is good as, a bit, as it's been all said. Ooh. It was honestly pretty good. I haven't seen that option yet. So clank. Bringing new things to the table in the time of need. Oh, bad spot for Brody. Forward there. Yeah, long lasting move. And yeah. the jab grab's not going to kill, but it's going to uh, put Brody in a bad spot. Kiro got the right read at the wrong timing. Up sail back air is not going to kill, this but. This is an even game, folks. It's extremely even. One misstep could be the oh. end, and that is from Kiro, and Brody takes it. Brody it is now 1-1. One, one. With a hard pop-off, he knew he needed that game. You, you never want to go down 0-2, especially against a top player like Kiro. And even in a best of five, it really does add up. Taking that second game changes the momentum entirely. Gets your the person who won game one guessing. Especially since you were so close to losing it. It was all in your hand, and he almost let it slip away, but he held on just tight enough. Isaiah's not even top 10. I offered my advice. I said go dark kitchen. Brody uh, pointing out that Isaiah is coaching Kiro and did lose that game. Yeah. Get some more advice. Brody being respectful and waiting it out. How do you feel about mid-set coaching? Um... You know, I'm not quite sure. I think we need to kind of see the results of it. But I, yeah. I think that if both players have uh, coaches, then that's definitely something that's very positive. And yeah. maybe one player doesn't want it. Maybe they don't need it. But, right. um, you know, if somebody's open to that, then I think that uh, leveling up the, our play is, is always a good thing. And if somebody can um, play better because of it, fantastic. All right, getting into game three here. It's 1-1. One, one. Um, you can see, well, as I say that, Kiro picks a pretty aggressive option. Yeah, it seems he uh, definitely has a, a good grasp of the hot and cold of, of aggression and, and defensive play. Saying yesterday that that makes like the perfect 64 player. That sweet spot's actually crazy. That's the second time I saw him do that. And you don't see many Pikachus be able to pull that off. So yeah, a lot of times a, they can't cover option. it. Yeah. Good back air from Kiro. Kiro's been scouting that out all set. Just placing that back air at the ledge because it's a very prominent Pikachu habit to instant up air. As soon as you grab the ledge, just jump up up air to try to cover your landing. But exactly. And if you can stuff that landing, then yep. you're off stage and you're in a bad spot. Ooh, good movement from both players, but Brody gets the hits. Tries to defend ledge, but he goes high. Kiro trying to keep him away with the up airs, but burning his jumps doing it. Brody calls ledge. And again, Kiro goes high, so we'll see if Brody can start uh, mixing up his edge guards and covering high again. Goes high himself. Oh, Kiro missed the ledge there when he stalled it, and Brody gets the Nair. 
Yeah. Tries to go for the, the Brody, I guess it is now. But, yeah, uh, his other signature. Yes. We still call that the Mark Sanchez? <laughs> we might. It's like historical. Yeah, it's not the player anymore, so. Ooh, Kira with a good snare. And Brody at a uh, medium percent here, so he's kind of worried about getting comboed, and edge guards are going to hurt quite a lot more now. Good reaction by Kira, covering as much as he can on the tack. The tack on the going to kill. Yep. Simple and clean. Calls out the neutral getup. And a clean stock lead. Yep. Ooh, good up there, but doesn't convert. Yeah, I think Probably grabbed out of that. Ooh, misses the nair. Brody gets the back throw. Where's Kiro going? Far. Good falling forward air. Yep. Can't make anything of it. Kiro uh, dominates position again with his own forward air. Good interruption with the up tilt from that down air. Oh, tries to get the grab, but Kiro back up. He's out in time. Kiro knocks him off again. Brody gets on pretty easily. A big difference here, and it's like paying off so much for Kiro, is that even when Bart goes high, so Kiro will oftentimes uh, find an aerial on the top flat or anything. When Kiro goes far, Ooh, cover Bart, the options. Bart is just having trouble hitting him. Um, he's not covering recovery as well as Kiro is, and that's everything in the Pika Ditto, really. Exactly. And even then, he start, I think he's starting to, uh, to notice that himself as he, he uh, covers that edge cancel on top platform. Yep. Maybe you can hear me. Yeah. It's almost like we're five feet away. <laughs> SD from Kiro. Commentator coaching. And a yeah. good up air back air. The up air on side platform up smash. And that down B will seal game three in Kiro's favor. That's 2-1. Getting some more advice from Isaiah. Isaiah with a wrist injury, or a carpal tunnel, I believe, and uh, unable to play himself, but give us he some wants good advice to be involved. Yeah, yeah he he's definitely be... engaging still, and there's no sort of just, you know, um, opting out entirely. It's, you know, yeah. he's definitely still here for the players in the community. And in this Always way, it's like he can he can live vicariously multiple lives in the bracket. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yes, and he can play, he play all the way through bracket, all the way through top 16, but just not with his hands. I should have asked Isaiah to coach me. Uh, I, mean, I, was, I messed up. I was coaching Boom a little bit earlier, and... Uh, Giving him some, some uh, die coke. It's Coke Zero, rather. Good down to grab. Nothing to follow up, though. Oh. He went for like a shield stop. Yeah, um, he did that. He did stuff him with the up air, too, yeah. after that. Good job there. That up tilt at 0% is not going to go anywhere. Get up attack. The get up attack has been proving extremely strong throughout uh, singles and doubles. I've seen Kyoshki using it as well. That good Nair. Ooh. Brody with the misstep. He wanted to grab there. The weak up smash doesn't convert. It's one of the most Pikachu privileged things is missing up smash, but still getting weak up smash, the and then you can still back air out of it. It's, it's sometimes better than up tilt. Sometimes, especially on ledge. yeah. It goes lower than, uh, than up tilt does on ledge. Ooh. They're spacing each other out. Hero He's trying to poke close. so hard. Yeah, this Ooh, footsie is... plays a little close there, and Brody gets, uh, gets back around. The mix up from Bart or er, Brody yeah. to go for the single zip. You definitely have to keep him guessing. Misses the edge cancel, but secures the stage. Yeah, Kira not able to cover it. Brody just sitting there up tilting. Ooh, good movement, but misses the grab. Need a little bit of a longer dash. Ooh, falling bear misses, but it's good up tilt. And that back air from Brody will take the first stock. Yep. A minute and a half through this game. Taking the lead. They're definitely playing it slow, playing it, you know, safe to try to find out their, their habits and, and you know, uh, the, their tendencies and spacing as well. He, I like the option by Kiro. He, go, he just fast falls to the top plat, trying to bait out some kind of attack from Brody, and then possibly up tilt it in the back wow. air of Thunder, but Brody timed it perfectly to where he didn't fall for Kiro's trap. And then after that, a fantastic nair read to uh, end Brody's stock. Catches him jumping off ledge. That's big pressure from Brody, but Hero finds his way out of it. Hero seems to be, he's just getting grabbed. Good get up attack. No edge guard there. Brody gets Kira off stage again, and that Nair's gonna send him the wrong way. But he waits on top platform, gets that back throw, and that will seal it. And Brody's up another stock. A full stock. Full stock lead. Oh, big opening. For Brody, up air, up air. what can he get off of it? Okay, uh, doesn't go safe, too hard. Safe, yeah. That was good. It was very good. Amazing damage. Definitely, uh, definitely in his own interest to do that. In his best interest. 
Gordy has really great dash dances. And unfortunately, in this uh, scenario, just falling short of his uh, punches after that. But so definitely keeps the opponents hero. guessing. Ooh, that was a uh, questionable upbeat. A little bit of a better one. Doesn't get the edge cancel, but... Now they're just fighting for center stage again, but... With Brody up, he can... Uh, Kind of can afford to get these single hit interactions and not have to worry so much about uh, finishing Kiro's stock as much as putting more damage on it. Kiro's facing so carefully, trying to find all of his little counter pokes before Bart. And that's one interesting thing, uh, thing as well that Brody is uh, throwing out the up tilts uh, as Kiro is, is coming down on top of him, but um, Kiro's fast falling, so he's getting the trade. And uh, it's seeming to turn out in Kiro's favor. Sometimes here. We'll see how this, uh, these next interactions go. Strong back air. That's a great back air once here. And yeah, and that's the uh, sealed up in the... evened up in the stocks, but uh, we'll see if uh, Brody can't finish the stock soon. Kuro will die to back throw at a good majority of the stage, so he's got to yeah. play around that grab. You know Bark is so good at finding him. Brody, sorry. And now at, uh, at 100%, 100, 100 plus, he needs to uh, watch out for strong aerials as well. Down air and back air is going to really hurt. And that nair, Twinkle it's a little toes. far off. We'll see if it's, yeah, that's going to be enough here. Good DI though. That down air actually helped him. He was below ledge. Yep. Big opening. Can it, what can he do Kiro's with it? Range. Dodges the up smash. Brody was feeling it. This could be Kiro's oh, chance. Oh, and snags him. Brody it's keeps the one stock lead. Barely miss spaces that down air, and your spacing in this matchup has to be perfect when you're at high percent. Otherwise, that you know they'll grab you every time. It is everything in this. Kiro just dominating the middle, uh, center stage there. A good combo, up air, back air. Good two piece. Ooh, and Brody with a good uh, just straight line single zap. Perhaps a zip. Kiro throwing these back airs, and that's definitely a sign for Brody to start getting ready for grabbing. Just waiting for that landing. Good down air from Brody. And that Nair edge guard. Big opportunity, but uh, makes it back on stage and finds the grab. Another pop off from Brody. That will kill! Going into game five. That's a game five. Brody versus Kiro Kuropi. The more I think about it, or like the more I watch, it seems like um, Kiro is really having a hard time. Like, or he's just almost assuming that he's that Brody is always going to go for that up air off the ledge. And he always throws out the back air, and then once that whiffs, that's when Brody takes his opportunity to make it back on stage. And it's almost like he's underestimating him, like because he did take almost a whole year off, and he played Bark probably a dozen times before that. Um, and now this is this is this isn't Bark anymore. This is 2018. This is this Brody. Is, this is a new man entirely. He changed his name. Changed his game. Yeah, he has shown really good options from the ledge and Kiro just not getting a good grasp of it. He's having trouble adapting to uh, this new beast he's seeing. Josh getting a little uh, distant coaching from his brother. Yep. In the, the streaming booth the, here. The Brody Bunch. The Brody Bunch. Used to be detectives. Just waiting on uh, here to finish up here. Looks like he's ready to hop in. All and right, the game five, Zap. Isaiah offering that the, the coaching for the final game. Hopefully, for Kiro's sake, gave him what he needed to hear. Hopefully, not famous last words. See, Kiro trying to trying his best to control these platforms. And Brody takes the space, gets him off stage, almost gets that back air as well. Fight for that center stage. Down airs and up airs. Ooh, great the down air from, Bart, or from Brody, rather. Not gonna Holds make it ledge. back. That's it. Excellent down air. That's the first one we've seen that's actually called out the upbeat. All the other ones have been uh, met with going to top platform, and it seems that that should have been the case still. Kiro trying an ambitious nair combo. Yeah, Kiro's got to dig deep. Ooh, and that backer may have covered that option, but uh, unfortunately, Brody does ST. Trying to fight Invincible Pikachu. That's the best character in the game. That's impossible. Good spacing by Kiro. Oh, Definitely. That, once that again. roll back was very quick. 
Covers the platform Thanks options to too. There as well. Can, Can we get guard? an edge guard? Oh no, not quite. That back throw will just get him off stage again. We'll see what he can do now. Oh, takes the ledge. He's calling it. Reverse back air. Oh, that F smash. That Definitely counter ambitious. up up air. I cannot believe it worked, but hey, they say F smash is bad at the ledge for a reason. Yep. Yeah, that's another move. I can't believe that hit either. That looks pretty incredible. Yeah, that, I mean that move is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Here, waiting on top, trying to fall in on him, and that seems to be the strategy he's been using. Is uh, is coming from up high and trying to drop in on Brody, but unfortunately, the 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 lower Pikachu seems to be at a higher advantage with up tilt and, uh, and up air and generally uh, positioning. That back throw's not going to kill. Kira's still alive. He's getting Ooh. called out a lot of times. Yeah. Spark Brody's got a good read on when he's going to go for the ledge, and I think that Kira has not really made it as uh, he's, he's making it even more demonstrative when he's going to be doing that. He's kind of uh, showing off his he's showing his cards. Kiro has a very good uh, awareness of when he can get that nair uh, once he gets the, the hit off stage. And a good throw. Kiro trying to run away with it. Ooh. Sending his lead more and more. This could be another KO. And Finds the jab Now Kiro up two stocks. Two stocks, but... One strong hit and it's not, it'll be yeah. one. Good counter good hit there. He's, he's, he's baiting him with the uh, side platform. Shielding. Falling forward air. This is looking like a different Kiro right he, now. He baited out that up air. That we were talking Kiro about. That has his, up he's air. getting his way. Still not there with the edge guards, but oh, excellent I, on stage. Yeah, I love the air. weight from Brody. It was the right idea. Just barely missed time. Definitely, and uh, that's a one stock lead, but yep. Brody can definitely do this. Yeah, we've seen him open, get an opening on a stock, oh, and take a it back all throw, the way. and it's that's gonna, gonna take it. it. 3-2 to Kiro Kuropi, but an excellently played set from both of them.